Welcome to the very first wrestling rant. I'm John Shannon. Yeah, about a few months ago, I had stated that I had been uh, a wrestling fan ever since I had been old enough to watch TV. And I finally decided that, well, you know, with the uh, Democratic conve or the Democratic uh, nomination uh, process out of the way, I haven't had a whole lot more to talk about, so I thought maybe I'd uh, talk a little bit about some of the uh, uh, stuff I've been seeing on TV here uh, lately, uh, primarily with the WWE. I don't watch too much TNA or pay a whole lot of attention to the indies, but uh, I may I may in time expand to that here and there. Of course, um, this being the uh, Tuesday after uh, you know Monday Night Raw, and of course the the first week of the uh, uh, McMahon Million Dollar Mania, um, which <laughs> I I don't know I think that was a little sloppy to tell you the truth. Uh, uh, Mr. McMahon, Vince McMahon will never be Howie Mandel, so uh, <laughs> I guess he has nothing to worry about there. But I want to talk a little bit about what uh, what I saw uh, in uh, in some of the matches. Of course, the build up between the main event. Uh, or for the main event uh, three weeks uh, a little uh, less than three weeks away now um, the night of champions um, it, it's looking like it's going to be a real good match between uh, Cena and Triple H don't be surprised I know that Cena beat Jeff Hardy for the uh, for the number one contendership don't be surprised if Hardy doesn't find himself some way into that main event in, in some way maybe in a triple threat match which I think that um, would be a lot of fun to watch it's just a prediction there um, it, you know one thing I noticed and maybe they, they do this all the time and I I, I, uh, I guess I, I, I've never thought about it until now but do you ever notice um, how uh, how JR will, will, will tell the fans that that the 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 following contest is a one fall match. Do do any does anybody that's a that that is a current wrestling fan know anything other different than a one fall match? <laughs> I, I I just uh, w was curious about that. You know, back in the day, there was a lot of matches that were two out of three falls, and and then also time limits uh, uh, mattered quite a bit. You don't see anything like that. You don't see any time limit draws, or for that matter, you don't see. Uh, any uh, uh, them even announce anything about a time limit uh, for the match. So I, I thought that was kind of funny. Excuse me. But um, how about this um, this whole thing with this uh, with uh, Ted DiBiase, uh, uh, the Million Dollar Man's kid? Um, I haven't seen him. I, I don't know how he came up through the ranks. If he uh, was a product of Ohio Valley before they went under, or if he's been training down in Florida, or just where he's been uh, working, um, I think he's getting quite the push, and 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 I don't, you know, understand that. I mean, do they really think he's gonna go into a uh, in get it, go into a tag team title match in in, in his first uh, match? I you know on you know on any kind of television. I think he's getting quite a push, and and I hope he I hope he's uh, his skills uh, equate to the push he's getting is all I can say. And what a what a squash match the other tag team uh, match was uh, with uh, Snitsky and Umaga against Rhodes and Holly. You're gonna see a you're gonna see a break up there between Rhodes and Holly, uh, probably at Night of Champions, you'll see you'll see that tag team probably disintegrate, I'm afraid. Um, don't be surprised. Now, here again, I'm showing my age in, in, in watching wrestling. Don't be surprised if this Rhodes and Holly uh, tag team does indeed break up to see uh, Cody Rhodes team up with uh, Trevor Murdoch. And they package it uh, again as the outlaws, the Texas outlaws, uh, sort of uh, package, if you will, 
of course uh, one of uh, uh, Trev or one of um, Cody Rhodes' father's Dusty Rhodes' uh, first partners, um, way way long ago, was Dirty Dick Murdoch. Now Trevor Murdoch, whose actual name is Trevor Rhodes, is is no relation to uh, to uh, Dick Murdoch. But I think they might try to have fun and run with that. Um, I don't see why not. But you know, maybe I'm forecasting a little bit. But I, 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 I do see that. Uh, I, I don't see the uh, the uh, Rhodes uh, Holly tag team lasting past this next pay per view. I think they're about ready to go their uh, their separate ways, if you will. Um, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm glad to see that uh, that um, Crime Time is starting to get a push again. Um, well, I'm I'm not a big fan of the of the hip hop culture and in, in, you know being brought into wrestling. I'm not a real big fan of the glorifying of the uh, of the whole uh, gangster whole uh, mentality. Uh, and maybe that's just me being a hater, and I'm sorry. But um, these guys are very talented wrestlers, despite what I think of of their uh, gimmick. And uh, I'm happy to see them starting to get a push in a uh, positive uh, direction. And how about this? Uh, how about this whole thing now with Molina and Beth Phoenix? Um, I think that you're. I mean, that they're starting to give some of these uh, f uh, female. Uh, I, I hate to use the word diva. Some of the female uh, stars there. They're starting to give them a little bit of, uh, if you will, parody with Beth Phoenix and. Uh, and I'm glad to see it because you hate like heck to see uh, her just constantly winning squash matches, and and uh, and I'm I'm glad to see that this is being booked as a little bit more even uh, uh, in that particular realm. Uh, I think that uh, I, I'm really looking forward to when eventually uh, uh, Mickey James winds up going in against. Uh, Against uh, oh God now I can't think of her name, Birchall uh, Birchall's sister, play sister if you will. Um, I think that has the makings to be a uh, a, a very good uh, uh, a very good rivalry, and I think that eventually uh, Miss Birchall will uh, will wind up coming away with that belt. They're giving that woman a very strong push uh, right now, and uh, and she's a good performer. And I think that her and her and Paul Burchill uh, work real well together, and uh, they're drawing the kind of heat that uh, that you would hope. And um, and tell you what, even the match between uh, between Kennedy and and Paul Burchill was really good. I hope that they can extend that a little bit further. Maybe uh, give that some uh, give that some good uh, billing. Um, speaking of of Trevor Murdoch and. I don't want to keep jumping around, but uh, I hope that they're not going to just bury him now with this goofy singing role. It it really, uh, I mean, he's not he doesn't have a bad voice by any stretch of the imagination. He's not in danger of of uh, of cutting any country albums or anything like that. But I really hope that they can find something for him to do. And like I said, this whole idea of maybe teaming him and uh, and um, Cody Rhodes together might might work out. So, well, that's all I got uh, on this. Uh, I'll probably give you a little something here on my feelings on this uh, coming SmackDown. Um, uh, probably on Saturday sometime. Until then, this is John Shannon, the Redneck Cabbie. Adios. Adios.